I'm Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing a we'll call it intermediate but I feel like it can go pretty much all levels depending on the speed that you do it at or what you've learned so far and you can always add things to it speed will always make it harder so um especially if it's like really slow that makes it even harder <laughs> but yeah so it's we'll call it intermediate but it's really all levels Technique exercise. That was a long way before I got to technique exercise, but here we are. So we're doing a flaps and buffaloes technique exercise. This is awesome for across the floor, but you can also do it center. This is great to bring to any level class as long as you choose music that fits the tempo that works for that class. Or if it's just for you, then pick a song that works for you. If the one that I chose works well, awesome. I will have that information down below. If it doesn't, any song, any song will do. Whatever tempo works for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you haven't done the thing, the subscribe thing, do the thing. All right, so we have four flaps. So it'll go flap, 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 flap. So this is a progressive across the floor combination or center, it could be center. So it's a progressive combination though, because it starts with like, I like to use Pokemon to explain like, when something grows in difficulty, it's like when you have, you start with Charmander, right? So we've got four flaps and two buffaloes. That's our Charmander, right? Then it gets a little harder. We start adding in like double buffaloes or something. Now we have Charmeleon. Now we got that second evolution right there. Then it gets even harder and we go to Charizard by adding like, I don't know, triple buffaloes or Falapios or something, right? And then the ultimate, the legendary. Now there's not a legendary evolution of Charizard, but we'll just go with like, from there you get to like a legendary Pokemon. Cool. If you're not a Pokemon fan, that's okay. Just understand it. it's a progressive combination. If you are a Pokemon fan, please write down in the comments what your favorite Pokemon is. I wanna know who your favorite Pokemon is. Mine's for it. Okay, so we have four flaps and two buffaloes. So it's gonna start with a one, Standard, four flaps, two buffaloes. Let's try that together, starting with the right foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, six, seven, eight. Good. All right, just for, you know, evenness and good measure, let's do it on the left. You should always do everything on both sides. Five, six, left foot, go. Awesome. So now let's try the second evolution. <laughs> like, should I call them evolutions? So that's how it starts. Now we're just gonna add one little thing to it to take, for, to take it from Charmander to Charmeleon. If you want me to use a different Pokemon next time, let me know. <laughs> so we have four flaps and then two double buffaloes. So flap shuffle cross, flap shuffle cross. A double buffalo, that I, that's what I call it. If you call it something else, totally fine. I do call it a double buffalo, and it's instead of a step shuffle cross, you flap that first step. So we're going to do four flaps, two buffaloes, then four flaps, two double buffaloes. But let's just try the second part. Four flaps, two, buff two double buffaloes. Okay? Let's try it. Just the second part. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Just for funsies, let's try it on the left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Okay, let's do first part and second part together. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Left side. Charmander, we have our Charmeleon, now let's get to Charizard. Okay, so now we're going to keep the double buffaloes. I like the double buffaloes, let's keep those. Now let's do flap heels. <laughs> so we're going to take the first part of this equation and then add something to it. So we added something to the buffaloes, now it's time to add something to the flaps. So we're going to do... Add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Yes, I just stumbled because I was like, oh wait, it's a double buffalo. It's a double buffalo. <laughs> falapio, 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 falap shuffle cross, falap shuffle cross. So when you do falaps, it's a one, a two, a three, a four. When you do the falap heels, the rhythm goes and a one and a two and a three and a four. So it becomes a triplet, okay? So just that third part, falap heel, falap heel, falap heel, falap heel, falap shuffle cross, falap shuffle cross. Let's give it a shot. Five, six, seven, eight. One, Good. Left side. Here's hoping I do this. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. You ever just finish something and go inside? I just did that. Okay, so we have our first, our second, our third part. Let's try putting them together, right and left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. That change in the flap heel, right? It's weird. All right, so let's do left side, and then we'll add the fourth part, the legendary part. I actually don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what the Firebird legendary Pokemon is. Oh, I feel like such a fake fan. I know the ice one is Articuno. I can't think of it. Moltres, it's Moltres. <sighs> I'm not a fake fan. Okay, no, honestly, you're not a fake fan even if you don't know those things. It's just a funny thing to say. So, all right, the Moltres, the, the legendary. We have Falap Heel, Falap Heel, Falap Heel, Falap Heel, and now we're gonna do a triple buffalo. Shuffle, step, shuffle, cross, shuffle, step, shuffle, cross. And a five and a six and a seven and eight. That's what I know as a triple buffalo. If you know something else as a triple buffalo, please let me know. Tap vocabulary can vary from place to place, from generation to generation. So I know this is a triple buffalo, but if you know it is something else, that is totally valid, and please let me know what it is because I love learning about this stuff. So this last part is and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. So that has the same triplet rhythm throughout. Okay, let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. And one and two. Left foot. We got this. Left foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Sweet. <laughs> All right, let's try the whole thing right, the whole thing left, and then we will do it with music. Got it? Let me just wake this computer up before it decides to quit on me. All right, <clears throat> whole thing on the right side. Five, six, seven, eight. Super fun. Okay, so let's try the left side. If you see a break in my filming, like that little like, if you see that, it means I messed up the left. And it's okay, because we can always just try again. Okay? So if I mess up, I can just try again. If you mess up, same thing. Rewind and just try again. Left side. All the lefties watching this are like, why are you so afraid of the left side? And I'm like, it's my awkward side. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Left side. Five, six, seven, eight. in front of me. I'm so stressed. All right, let's try it to some music. Right side and then I'll count you in again and we'll do it on the left. Cool? Let's do this.
motion demo for sure. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I love across the floor progressions. I love like as you go, it just adds something and then adds something. It keeps you or your dancers just constantly thinking, which is good for class. It's good for class. And it keeps you like changing your rhythms. And I hope you really enjoyed my Pokemon reference. If you didn't, again, um, let me know if I can use a different fandom for that. Like I can do Star Trek or something, I'd be like, all right, so we have the junior officers, or we can go like, this is the ensign level, and now this is the lieutenant level, and now we're on the command level. That also kind of works for the military, so. I can do whatever, but uh, Charmander seemed to work today, so I hope you really enjoyed this, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. It would mean the world to me if I had this big family of TAP dancers on this channel. Everything on this channel is free, and it's, it's for you, and I love making these tutorials. I have so much fun with this. And like the only thing I really want out of this is to create this huge community of tap dancers on this channel. YouTube has this milestone of 100,000 subscribers. I would like die if I hit that. I would love, love to hit 100,000 subscribers. So please do me a favor. If you feel like you get your value out of this channel, if you feel like this channel helps you out, if you're a teacher, get your students to subscribe to this channel. It is always going to be full of clean and, I mean, I always use clean music. It's great resources for them. Uh, subscribe, get your friends to subscribe if they tap dance or if they dance in general. I'm going to start doing a vlog series about being a professional dancer, especially at my age, which is probably not the age you think. Um, so definitely, like, do me that favor and subscribe. This is my way of giving back, and all I will ask from you is to hit that subscribe button, okay? Also, if you can, hit that thumbs up button as well, because A, it helps the algorithm push these videos out to other people that may not know that these free resources are there, but B, it helps all tap dance channels when you thumbs up on tap dance content. So make sure you always hit that thumbs up, whether it's a short or a full video or whatever, hit that thumbs up, because then YouTube's like, hey, huh, people like tap dance. And we're over here like, yeah, we do. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up. I had a blast with you today. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.